and welcome back to another video. I'm laid a bit weird today because Lily's having tools with me. She loves a fluffy pillow and she'll snuggle up to daddy. Yes, hello. Yes, I am talking about you. Yes, hello. So today I'll be taking a look at the uh, brand new uh, Dwellers add on because Spooky Month and uh, uh, it'll be fun to take a look at. It's also a brand new add on because it was released this week. Are you excited to get into it, Lily? Yes, you are. Yes, you are, you adorable little pooch. Oh. Also, I want to go into full screen before I forget. This is taking a while to. Has it frozen? Oh, no, there we go. It's not frozen. Here we go. It's loading through. Hey, <laughs> wee. Now that he's just looking at me. What are you looking at me for? Are you go for noodles. You get snoozles, Lily. Oh. You snoozles. There you go. Good girl. Yep. Oh. Got a torch, apparently. So, I got Dweller's Settings. This item is not lost upon death. So difficulty had Blood Moon Chance 20. And you got all the different mobs that can spawn. You got voice line that captions off. Shut up. Sun, moon. Highest quality. Okay. And there's fog on the ground. So we have the dwellers add on. Fog on the floor is cool. So let's just go into my house and let's read this book. Let me eat. There we go. That <laughs> is full on top of the chest. That's a bit funny. Um, see so yeah, dwellers. Uh, we know you are ready to uh, discover and to defeat all the seven uh, dwellers, but to, who knows, they might uh, find you fierce, especially when you are least expecting it. But hey, I'm sure you know what you are doing. Uh, I just still recommend the gearing up for the for the night and check out the settings uh, item before you start happy hunting so what i'm going to do real quick is i'm going to go into creative and i'm going to get myself some iron armor game mode one i have an itchy news yeah <laughs> and get i want There we go, so head, shoulders, knees, and bone. <laughs> so they're gonna start off with iron and then we're gonna move up to diamond and enchanted iron. Oh, and I also want a iron sword. So seeing as how this is a horror add-on, I should hope that, they, that I should uh, uh, need more than iron to be able to handle these guys. So let's see, a blood moon Nayuta can strike you at any time. The red moon strengthens normal monsters with strong effects and also causes monsters to emerge from the never. I sh also, what I'm going to do, uh, maybe later... Um, I'll definitely show that off later. Uh, 
There is a settings item that allows you to configure things like Blood Moon Chance, uh, switch visual effects on and off, or activate slash deactivate certain monsters. So the Mimic can transform into three different mobs. You better keep an eye out if you see if if what you see is true. So I'm gonna summon. I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna go creative so I can show it off without it trying to kill me. So some someone mim mimic dweller. It's ship. So it looks like a sheep. This one looks like a sheep. So if I go to game mode zero, it's all oh, a sheep. I stab ship. Oh! Oh, ow! Okay, that was a bit creepy. So yeah, they don't... Yeah, so by the looks of it, they don't attack you until you attack them. Oh, that's... Oh, that's adorable. So that's like, supposed to be a baby sheep, so yeah, if I stab it, it'll start attacking me. I can't... Why can't I stab you? Can I shoot you? Okay, I can't attack this one for some reason. It's just another sheep. Oh, I use. Oh, well, I got every drop from it at least. It can drop Sheep Mimic Dweller Trophy. That's nice. Sheep Mimic Dweller Peace Wool. And other stuff. It's another one of their ones. Why can't I kill those ones? I said those because I'm confused. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that got me. Okay, so, okay, I don't know why those two really don't attack. Mimic Dweller. Oh, that's because I'm summoning the sheep, Mimic Dweller. So, hold on. What other mimics are there? Mimic. Lily. So the sheep villager mimic Joella. Yep. And you kick. Oh, they almost killed me. And they killed me. Okay, yeah. Uh, these guys are no joke. Yeah, so. Even in iron armor, they can still kill uh, kill you quite easily. So I'm guessing the baby sheep from the McDrellers can't attack you. Ooh, well, the villager ones drop emeralds and stuff. That's nice. I'm a little bit paranoid now, because I don't know which ones are sheep and which ones are mimic dwellers. Uh, but let's summon another villager one in and kill him with the uh, this sword. Oh, I didn't want to him. Uh, okay, so let's see what we get from him. So, got an enchanted iron hoe with efficiency three. Uh, two villager mimic dweller pieces. Four M. They got some emeralds. Didn't get a trophy from him. Let's try again. Let's see if we can get a trophy from him. Ah, uh, I have my inventory! So, that's the Dweller's Info Book. Oh, yeah, I accidentally chucked that. 
and also my helmet. Do you want to make a trade? <laughs> he even says, do you want to make a trade? Oh wow, he is quick. Well, I don't know if you hear that, but when, but like in like villagers speaking, when do you want to make a trade? Yeah! Chip a chip. Hmm, I don't know if you get a trophy from the villager one. Hold on, let me go into game mode one and see if I can uh, cheat it in. Vill... Villager Mimic. Yeah, you can get a trophy from them. So let's, let's take a look at these trophies real quick. So... The... Oh, that's cool! I like that. It is quite weird though, because I killed... A bunch of them, and this has looting and plundering, which uh, pretty much you haven't. Just, which, oh! Oh, these would be cool for decoration. Um. So, yeah! Uh, let me. Uh, summon the, the next one in, so. And then there's Wandering Trader Mimic Thriller. So he looks like a regular Wandering Trader and when I go into Survival, he doesn't sound like one though. So I'm in Survival, I whack him, he's not attacking me. Oh, it would also help if I weren't using the super OP sword. Oh yeah, he said do you have anything for me? But He's not attacking me for some reason. I stab him. He drops carpet and leads. Hello there. Oh. oh, there we go. Now he's attacking. Ow. These guys are actually quite strong. I'm gonna... Kill this guy and then I'm going to spawn in some diamond armor. See, these guys are, right, are actually quite strong. Oh, I forgot about a uh, shield. Well, I'm going to cheat in the shield first. Shit, eh. Shield. Wonder. So let's check out the trophy for this guy. I don't know what the torch does though. So let's go put this guy down next to these guys. Yeah, so he looks like the villager one, but just like with the wandering trader. Well, let me summon him in. Do you wanna make a trade? Does this do anything to you? No. Okay, I'm just gonna kill you then. Hello. Go. Yeah. Right, so next. Uh. Next up is the Goatman, is a bit of a shy one, he freezes up when you look at him, but don't test his personal space, he has a good friend that you better avoid scaring him. So, some... Go... Go... Oh, uh, uh. Cute man. Oh. Come closer. Okay, this guy is creepy. Oh, and he destroys torches. That's annoying. 
He does not like torture. So let's go into survival. Hey there, buddy. Oh. He just one shot me. Okay, time to get some diamond armor. Finally, I actually, like, I've done, like, several, like, boss battle add-ons, and none of them have actually uh, got me to need diamond armor yet. Finally, something that makes me actually have to use diamond armor. And let's get a diamond sword. Also, let's get rid of some of this. Don't need these shears, don't need the leads. They need the hoe, the bread, the raw meat, the sugar, the emeralds. Okay, let's go fight this guy. Alright, where is he? Did he despawn? I bet he despawned. Okay. Let's just summon him in again. You can't hide. He's a speedy little... Oh my god, he... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, he, actually, he does... Uh, he hits like a cement truck. Damn! This is only the second more, but yeah, and he's teach spawn again, so I think I'm gonna need uh, give at P golden apple sixty four. So just get regular golden apples, not enchanted. Gonna eat one before I summon him in. Even with the golden apple, he's still too shocked me. And he's gone. Okay, this is uh, this is actually uh right, let's let's go one more time to this guy. All right, this time I'm gonna run away. Then up, oh, out, right, run, out, uh, can't run. Alright, let's try again. Alright, so I'm gonna have to like try, if he hits me I'm gonna have to run away. And Try and ch uh, eat a golden apple. Oh. Okay, right. He. Yeah. I, that, there was no getting away. He just hugs you until you die. Okay. Let's try Enchanted Diamond because I don't think Enchanted Diamond is going to really help here because he's too shot me in full diamond. So, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. I'm quite surprised because usually, like, if you have if you have full diamond armor, there's not, in vanilla Minecraft, there's nothing that can really kill you outside of, like, a boss, so like the wither or the ender dragon or 
uh, the warden. So having these guys wandering around is great something. Right, so fully enchanted diamond gear. We've got gapples and she and the shield. Let's see how well this works out. Is that XP? There's a bit of XP here. Use this to repair my stuff a little bit. Oh wow, the shield is almost dead. On gear. Let's go back to game mode one. I'm gonna go enchant the shield real quick. Okay, I'm gonna get a new shield and enchant it. And if I still die here, I'm gonna to have to just get some totems from dying or something, I don't know. Might actually have to stay up and give this my all. Enchanted shield. I have to get enchanted gapples. I don't usually like you uh, having to use enchanted gapples because they are quite difficult to get in the survival. Like your best way of getting them is just like going to chunk base and looking and just like putting on the, the uh, gap enchanted golden apple uh, filter. All right, let's summon the scout man in. Okay, he's still doing a buttload of damage even with protection for diamond, and he's take. Oh wow, he's taking. I asked. I, I just instinctively use that sword. Oh my god. Oh my god! This dude! Right, diamond sword. Summon him in. Okay, I think I got. I think I. Ooh. I think I got it. Ooh. I think. He does not give you a lot of time to regen health. Stop it! Get away! Get away, I'm gonna eat my gapple. Let me eat my gapple. He, he is just not letting me regen health. Okay, wow, this, this is really difficult. I don't want to cheat and use like, my super mega OP armor. But this guy, alright, uh, give at P hot. 64. I'm just going to have to use totems of undying, I guess. Oh, I, I forgot. Right, I'm just going to have to run in, do as much damage as I can before I pop the totem, and then when I pop the totem... Oh! I got him. Didn't even... I didn't even pop a totem there. I got very close to death. I got here a few times, but yeah. My god! Look at the damage he did to the armor! Okay. Oh, finally, an add on that adds actually difficult mobs. 
，即系屈，屈，啊 ，the shit， 喂，我买个超炸 ，Oh my god，look at his health bar。Christ, what the hell is that? Yeah, you make these scared me there. <laughs> Got a cage and some bone and the one who watches piece. Okay, uh, surprise visit from the one who watches. Uh, oh yeah, so, so I should also see like. Uh, look at the goat man stuff in creative real quick. The goat. Goat. They have the goat man shrine. Uh. Why do I have to watch a saving wish? Put that there. So the shrine looks like that. I guess you can get that to, from like killing him or something. Uh, then you have the go oh no, that's you get the goatman trophy. What the what is the goatman shrine then? Or oh. Can you wear this as a helmet? No. Oh, that's a DB of a shame. You got Goatman Peas. This doesn't say anything about the Goatman Shrine, so I guess that will be. We'll get into that later on in the book. So the next up is the Man from the Fog. It is a mysterious creature. That often appears with uh, lightning and is covered uh, by uh, and is covered uh, by the dark. So keep your ears peeled for his uh, dooming whistle, and you better not meet his ghost. You, uh, your only hope is to run. Huh. The man. On the fog piece. Fog end? No. So there's different variants for the end and the never. So we'll check that out. So let's just spawn one of them in here. Oh, the blood moon's rising. Great. Creepy whisper. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Oh, he is creepy as all gout. And it's just a weird one. Okay, let's go into survival and see if we can kill him. Hello there, ow. I, I know, I didn't forget. Oh my god, he killed me through the totem. He killed me. With fully enchanted diamond armor through a totem of undying. Is he even possible to kill in vanilla Minecraft? I'm guessing this uh, this will probably add like a bunch of like cool new armor so you can craft. I guess let's uh let's just. Get him back in and go for a round two with my uh, uber mega OP astral suit. Yeah. Even the void can't kill me in this. Oh, I'm on fire. Yeah, so he's, yeah, he stands no chance against his arm, but that's not really a surprise because again, this armor survives the void. We got the man from the fog trophy. Yeah, yeah, it's a blood moon.
There you go, like zom zombie piglins spawn in as well. That's cool. Got zombie villagers. Apparently they're all buffed. Hey, what's this? This is Teddy. Yeah. Neat. I found a Teddy. Don't know what Teddy does. I'll put Teddy there. Or you can get never mobs like river skeletons. Yeah. Oh, that squeaking noise. Funny. Anyway, let's just uh, kill him in the Never in the end, uh, because apparently he's different in the Never in the end, so let's go kill him a couple more times and see where he drops. Oh, I also forgot to place down the cage earlier. Let's take a look at this cage. I got off the guy from earlier. Weird. Anyway. So yeah, I think they took that, I don't know, I can't remember if this came out, yeah, well actually no, it definitely did came up, come out after, I forgot that it's brand new, but yeah. Uh, that uh, last one that uh, we thought was probably at least inspired by death from uh, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish or whatever, can't remember the full title, but in that uh, Death's the character, he whistles and he chases Puss in Boots, and uh, for the most part, Puss in Boots mostly just spends the movie running away from him. So, is he going to spawn? I heard the whistle and the, the screen is shaking, but this lightning is not striking. Hmm. Oh, here he is. Hi, dude. He's a tad bit broken in the never. Trying to put out the fire underneath him. Got bones, got a shaper armor trim. Is that new? I don't remember there being a shaper armor trim. Hold on, let's. I want to double check this real quick. Uh, but let's place this down in a minute in the other world. I want to double check, but I'm pre. I don't remember ever hearing about a armor trim called the shaper. And if there's not a shaper armor trim, then that means this is a brand new armor trim, which I didn't know they could add. If it's a brand new armor trim, that's really cool. What? So we got the never one. Yeah, so that's, yeah, he is different. He has yellow teeth. Let me just really quick cut. So I'm just gonna save and quit. Go into this world because this doesn't have it, and it's because it's just like the second world I use to just double check my uh, any bugs I find. E. Ah. Oh no. Yeah. So. It is a vanilla armor trim. How do you get the shape of armor trim then? I don't know. I've just never heard of it before. Hmm. 
Maybe I did hear about it and just forgot. It's definitely not one of the new ones that was added in the trial chambers because those, because those ones are blue. I'm pretty sure. It could be one. What's up for you? What are you doing, Peter? Doorbells. All right, let's go kill him in the end. So yeah, so like I said earlier, you probably can kill him without like crafting some like special armor or something that you can only get in this add-on pack. Why is there a bunch of junk in my end? Alright, so let's summon them in here. The heck was that? There's like a red, red stuff there and then something died. I don't know. Oh yeah, I forgot to have this here from like when I was doing the... Uh, that review of the... Hold on, let me free you guys. There you go. Alright. Summon him in. Don't know what they're angry at. It's not me, otherwise they'd be attacking me. They're angry at something. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, and he's purple. Oh. And I got literally every drop possible. So let's see what he can drop. So he can drop like a lot of stuff. So obviously he drops it, uh, his fragments. He drops potion of weakness. Drops foot chain. Uh, drops ominous bottles. He dropped that. Also, why do I now have three teddies? Invisibility. Uh, what's this? Uh, potion of harming. This is skeleton heads. Yeah, he draws a bunch of stuff. So considering that the game tells you that to basically just like, uh, well the book basically just tells you to run from him. I'm guessing he's supposed to be like the, kind of like the final boss of it, of the add-on. So he, so he might just drop stuff from other uh, mobs as well. Foot chain. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And paper one. So I'm going to get my diamond armor back on and I'm going to try the next one with regular diamond armor. And you'll see what wind charges. Uh, also the moon turns red in the blood moon, that's cool. So what they probably did is they probably just have like their own custom uh, blood moon texture and they just have it hovering uh, above the uh, moon texture. Either that or they just retextured the moon. Uh, let's light up this area a bit because mobs are spawning. Oh, 
Oh, also, the flashlight actually lights up dark areas. That's cool. Can the flashlight go in your offhand? Yes, it can. Still don't know what the high pitch squeaking is about. Right, so let's read up about the next dude that's going to be fighting. I'm probably dying to. There's a man from the fog. Well, there you go. Yeah, you hold shift and you can go back. So there's Siren Head. That's actually like a popular creepypasta I'm pretty sure. I don't know about the others though. I'm not super big on creepypastas. Uh, Siren Head. Likes uh, to uh, scream and uh, to horn at uh, you with broadcasts he uh, intercepted. However, you better not be uh, too loud around him. Uh, let me go into game mode one. If I just put in a head, Siren Head, so it's S I R E N S. So let's uh, summon him in. Oh, there's a noise meter at the bottom, that's cool. Oh, this is... That's cool. So if you move around too much, I'll make noise. And he doesn't like the noise. But even if you're in survival, as long as you're not making too much noise, he won't attack you. But if I just, like, start running around making a bunch of noise, he'll turn half style and start attacking me. Oh! Oh wow, that's a lot. That is a lot of damage. Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah okay. I'm fine. He is just screaming. The health bar I've done doesn't even. Oh, his health bar is all the way at the top of his head. So I can't really see it. Oh, okay, got him down. Hey, got the creator from Lena Rain from him. Nice. So I guess he'll drop like a random music disc. That's cool. Always oh, nice to have another way again the music disc. Got the Sa got Simon Head piece, got Simon Head trophy. Don't need any more Simon Heads. He oh he does do damage to to, to the terrain though, and even though I am quite really quite liking this add-on, I do have to quickly say I really don't like it when they add mobs that do damage to your terrain because it's just annoying. Saying you have to fix up the terrain. I'm moving the torches isn't too bad because it can because then so it can yeah it you know the I you know makes darkness so it kind of scares you a bit. But I don't like that, the fact that it destroys the terrain. But I was having such a good time in the fight that I didn't even really notice. And it's not destroying a ton of terrain, it is just a little bit of terrain. It's just a little bit annoying having to re do the area. And then I get another bunch of skeleton heads from him. Anyway, who's after Siren Head? There's the 
Unseen Death. This is an amazing ghost writer and always has something to say. His taste in music might be questionable, but don't expect to be sleep to sleep peacefully at night. So we're looking at death. The unseen death. You want to see Death Trophy and End Trophy. Also, he has a different appearance in the end, so we'll go kill him in the end as well. Hello. So, oh, hello. Oh, ow. Sorry, go. Hey, get back here, you. Be where the Okay, so he's a very unique fellow. Did you think you were Yeah, so after you hit him a bit he just runs away. He's quite creepy. Always watching. Okay, let me stab you with my super OP sword then. Uh, where? Oh, there you are. Got ya! Aha! Oh wow, he did drop a bunch of stuff. He dropped the teddy. Ah, oh, that's probably where I got the teddy bears from. Yeah, yeah. More of those ball and chain things that we got early off the guy that I killed in the end. I've got some eye armor trims. Rotten flesh, glowing. Got the unseen death pieces. Got another cage. Got some signs, which makes sense because he did put down signs when he leaves. There we go. Unseen death trophy. So he's not much of a threat. It's just difficult to kill him because he runs away like a coward. Let's go kill, uh, fight him in the end and show off what he looks like in the end. Alright, I need... Uh, I can just use the summon command. I'm going to go through all that, all those items just to get the spawn eggs. Yeah, oh, goddammit, I forgot about these. There we go. Alright, yeah, must remember I'm not in my super o mega OP armor set that can survive the void at the end. Don't fall off. Um, that, uh, uh, unseen death. See, so yeah, here he's people. Get back here, you coward! Ah, oh, poop. No, oh, I fit. Ah, oh, there he is. Get back here, you. You do it. Uh, welcome and let the fun begin. Uh, I'm just going to equip the Super Mega OP armor set that'll let me one shot him. Oh, actually, before I do that, I'm going to go over here with that XP and uh, repair my armor set. Yeah, there we go. Alright, there we go, Piyama! So he is. So it's probably going to be quite difficult to kill him unless he can... Uh, let, so I'm guessing the pieces that we get from these guys are going to be used later in crafting to create armor and weapons that are far more powerful than diamond. So let's summon them in again. 
Dead. You are dead. Ah, uh, yeah, there's his head. Let's pick that up. Uh, anything else of interest here? Oh, he dropped a uh, tentacle one dying. And more of those bones. Yeah, nothing super interesting. So I think it's really cool that they give you like all these like uh, trophies for you to collect. Okay, who's decided to pick a fight with me? Hmm? Oh, the goat man's back. Oh, the goat man's dead. Hey, let's get the diamond armor back on and we'll uh, check out the next uh, guy. So, the next guy is the one who walked... Oh yeah, we saw him earlier. Some... The... On... Um, who watches. Yeah, hello, yeah, you scared me earlier. Right, let's stab you up, get your drops. Oh, oh wow, oh wow, he... He's actually quite strong. Got a balloon from him. Ah, oh, doesn't look very good when you're holding it. I guess you could use it as decoration. So this balloon is probably a reference to it. The movie. Movies. Lol. Uh, is that the rib armor trim? Yeah, haha. <laughs> uh, ah, there we go. And the one who watches trophy. It's cool. Christ, he did a ton of damage to me though. Uh, then there's the cave dweller. It's pretty curious, but he does have a bit of a crazy side. He loves exploring caves and does sometimes gets a little carried away. He might uh, stare you down, start an attack or even uh, cry like a baby, but it's all in good fun. All in good fun. So let's summon the cave driller. Some cave... Voila. Yeah, hello, oh, hello. And he's attacking. Yeah, not super difficult. More difficult than any regular vanilla mob, though. Uh, cave dweller piece. Notes. Is there gonna be is Slenderman gonna make gonna make an appearance in this? I mean, probably not. Probably because it's probably like no, well, he's probably not copyrighted because it's probably public domain. So maybe, but he would very much. It would very much be like a Nenderman. 
Oh, no, I think that's the last one. So shrines. You can sacrifice some valuables to keep the dwellers away. Ah, so that's what the shrines are about. So uh, yeah, we saw this shrine here earlier by the, by the goat and uh, use the dweller pieces to create a custom shrine for the dweller of your choice. Placing an item and activating them with all that will start a timer and add up to how long they will not bother you. So if you want to keep them away for 3 minutes there's a gold ingot, 10 minutes there's a diamond, 10 minutes for an emerald, 20 minutes for netherite. And for the blocks 30, 100, 100 and 200 minutes respectively. Uh, new blocks, there are over 30 new uh, building and decorative uh, blocks in the recipe book. Many of them can be found that are spawning in the world or can be dropped by the dwellers. There are even trophies for each dweller so you uh, can uh, display your victories. Blood Moon's riding. Oh, Siren Head's around here somewhere. Yes, hello Siren Head. Uh, I'm just going to uh, slap on my OP armor so nothing can kill me while I'm reading the book. Also, can you attack him when he's not hostile towards you? Yes, you can. Neat. Anyway. Uh, oh. And that's the end. So, is it no armor? Oh, wow. Oh. So, yeah. And when I put in death, there is no, like, unseen death armor. Yeah, let's put in the shrine. Shrine. So you can make these shrines of them. So let's go into my base and let's, uh, Go, go into survival and I'll show you how to craft all these. <laughs> so the man... Oh, I'm going to do all. So first up is the man from the frog, frog shine. Shrine is a piece of him with, fro with some iron and lightning rods. And there's wandering trader which is the wandering trader piece. So yeah, I think these are just going to be the same. This is a mimic wandering trader. Yeah, and then there's a villager. So yeah, there's mimic dweller piece. It's slightly different. Then yeah, that's the same. That's the same with that. 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 But it does not appear that there is any new armor from this add-on or swords or anything. Just surprising because again, some of these are really difficult and nearly impossible or just straight up impossible in survival. So I'm surprised that there's no armor or tools or weapons. Now it would be cool if there were, if you could get those. I, I, yeah, I, I honestly don't know how you're supposed to kill some of these guys with just enchanted diamond armor. Like you're, say, to kill some of these, you are seriously going to need like Notch apples and oh god damn it something broke there oh it would have been the uh what should we call it the yeah the uh what should we call it guy Siren Head Is that a fake guy? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so this title is going to keep you... If you like all this stuff, then you're going to love this, because this is going to keep you guessing. They're like, is it a real wandering trader, or is it uh, uh, one of those evil guys? Also, why is that squeaking? That swing is going to drive me by me. Uh, so the, uh, there's just one uh, couple more things I want to do. So, 
I want to have some iron. So will the iron golems... Will the iron golems protect you from these guys? So let's see, let's get the... Yeah, the man from the fog. Some the man from the fog. So well, oh, they're already ta he's already targeting him, him, even though he's not uh, some of them. So you, yeah, you could get some iron golems in to help you kill him. Or not. Dude, help me! Okay, yeah, the Iron Golem. Oh, wait. He's too fast for the Iron Golem. The Iron Golems can't even hit him. Oh my god, okay. Yeah. And he, he is super tough. Okay, I want to see how these, like, react to, like, other mods. I might do, like, um,. In my spare time, I might uh, test out if these fight the wither. If they can, then I might do some mob battles with these or something. But yeah. Uh, super cool mobs. So, like, yeah. Like, if you, again, if you look, if you like horrors, horror add ons, you're going to love this. So yeah. Hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next video. And bye bye.